Let's imagine that you are the DevOps team lead for your company's e-commerce division. As a savvy technical organization, you and your team leverage AppDynamics to monitor the health and performance of Acme's e-commerce application. Confident in your experience that AppDynamics catches and alerts on issues before the business is significantly impacted. AppDynamics can provide such automatic notifications via email and text. And while checking your email, you receive just such an alert. It seems that the custom testing you implemented in AppDynamics has flagged that the synthetic end user response time for shopping cart activity has increased unexpectedly. For this specific scenario, the Acme team included three links in the email alert for investigating such anomalous behavior using AppDynamics. The first link takes us to the browser app dashboard under user experience. This view is an out of the box feature with AppDynamics end user monitoring and provides a host of information. To troubleshoot the issue, let's narrow down our view to the last 15 minutes. Here we can see the increase in synthetic response time that triggered the alert and compare its trend to that of the real user experience data. By design, your team chose to implement a forced delay within the synthetic agents, allowing AppDynamics to trigger alerts at a higher threshold level, ideally, than a real user should ever experience. Returning to the alert, the second link in the email takes you to the health rule violations page in AppDynamics where a listing of the warning and critical status health rules are displayed. From here, drilling down the violation, you can obtain detailed information about the timeline and criteria of the alert. Finally, the last link in the alert email takes you to a custom dashboard that your team has built for monitoring this scenario. The dashboard provides a table of metrics for synthetic and real users at the top graphs synthetic user and real user response times, and captures the timeline of all health rule violations of the synthetic tests. We can once again drill down into a health rule violation from this dashboard to see additional details. Now suppose you wanted to create a new custom email alert, one related to a slow page loading time. By selecting email templates under alert and respond, you can quickly and easily do just that. Here you can rename the email template, find who receives the alert, and even to find the URLs that are important for you and your team's troubleshooting activities.